Hi everyone, welcome back to Cricket Bat Info. I'm Mark. This is a Ben Stokes player edition. And I'm going to compare it here to the Aiden Markram. Uh, so you can have a look at both and also tell you why I've actually sold this straight after this. Okay, firstly, thank you very much to uh, my cricket gear. He was doing a raffle and I actually won this bat um, first prize. Uh, entered it, bought two tickets in both of the raffles and I won it on the 2nd of May and it's a really nice looking bat. I have reviewed the player edition, the Ben Stokes before. I had one from Rotho and this one's much the same. Uh, very clean. It is a bit lighter uh, and actually picks up pretty light too. But I don't think there's too much difference with that bat. It's got that traditional sort of uh, player's shape. These are all cut by CNC so there's not going to be any difference uh, with what I showed you on the other review. I'll leave the link to that in the description. We'll just talk a little bit about the aesthetics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve grains. A little bit of a pin knock down here and some sort of griping under the sticker here. Nice sort of straight grains. There's a tiny little bit of wobble off there uh, and you can see in certain light that the ball has been bounced on it. My Cricket Gear uh, was doing reviews on Instagram, so he would have looked at this one. It did suffer a tiny little knock somewhere along the way, uh, but I've steamed most of that out. It's not a big deal. It's not going to hurt the bat in any way. But it's a nice profile, isn't it? It's got that sort of mid with the swell sort of edging up here sort of thing. This is your, your main hitting area up here. And we'll bring in the mark room, which I have done a review for. Thank you very much to Sajid for sending that one in. And we'll have a comparison with those two shapes. It does appear to me that there's a little bit more bill on the Stokes. And that swell is a little bit lower on the Markram as opposed to the Stokes. More mid to mid low, whereas this one is more mid to mid high. As far as the edge positioning, we can give it a measure. So I'm thinking we're looking at about 18 centimetres, the peak of the middle there. And on this bat, we're looking slightly higher, maybe 18 and a half to 19. Slightly um, different, but down here you can see, um, well I can see, a bit difficult for you at your angle. Uh, if I turn it that way, I can actually see that there's more dip in the nose of that Stokes, more wood taken out down there. And I did comment on that when I reviewed the Stokes, uh, that um, it's definitely not a bat for somebody who's going to be uh, trying to launch full tosses and Yorkers over the fence. A lot more wood down here. Uh, I think this one's going to perform a lot better in that sort of area there. Um, just on the looks of it. But they're both that typical player shape. They're nice and full and you can see that on both of them. Uh, Sarjit, the owner of the Aiden Markram, said that he got that bat because the Stokes was sold out. But I don't think there's a huge amount of difference there. Um, obviously, aesthetically, you can see a difference with... Stickers are on differently. The, Stokes is the only one where the stickers are in a different direction completely on both sides. The Stokes has the traditional diamond white uh, to light blue colour scheme. Markram is going for the chroma stickers. And I've got to say that I do prefer that new grip to the hex grip on the GM. Uh, the GM doesn't have any sort of tape down here. I'm not completely sure why that is. You can have a look under the binding here. Nicely in glued. Three cork. Look, it's a really, really nice bat. Um, it picks up beautifully, which I, you know, I can tell you what it feels like. It's got a really light feel. It feels like a two eight and a half uh, in my hands. It's got a really nice uh, pickup and it actually weighs 291. So it's definitely a lighter bat. The Markram, oh, it feels a little bit heavier. I've got to say it feels more of a, yeah, it feels more 29. And uh, let's see what that one weighs because I can't remember off the top of my head. Probably feels a little bit heavier than 29. 
Yeah, it's 210. So, yeah, it's... They're both roughly the same. They probably pick up half an ounce better than their dead weight. I guess what you really want to know is how does it actually tap up? So let's do that for you. So I'll start at the toe, making sure it's in camera. in that mid area really going and it's still got some left but here mid high to mid to mid low all in that area there which is very consistent with the profile uh, it's got a lovely little the marker which is a bit heavier and it also has that slightly darker complexion probably oiled a bit a bit more I think that the Markram's going, it's got more punch in that mid and slightly more punch mid low. So, you know, retail in Australia, if this was purchased in Australia, it's come from England, it would be uh, $1,500. I've seen them advertised around the $1,250 and I think that's probably what this one was purchased for. I think this was purchased overseas as well. I can't remember the details that'll be in the review. So, Pedro, who has been helping me out on the channel and I've played cricket with him. We've been having beers together every now and then in this shed uh, over the past five or so years. And he told me the story about his favorite bat was a Shane Watson player edition. And he was kicking himself that he sold it. Exactly this issue, chasing the unicorn. He sold it and could never replicate it again. He was really keen when I said that I was getting the stoke. Having a really expensive cricket bat, in my mind, for me is a bit of a waste because I'm not going to justify and give it the attention that it needs. You know, I wouldn't want to own a bat and not use it. This is not my unicorn bat, but this is definitely his unicorn bat and he's a good mate. So it was a no brainer to think of him. I want to see the bat used. I need to pay back debt. Uh, I spent a lot of money on, on the channel this financial year and it's just opportunistic to, to, to sell it and see it used I was really surprised and, and happy that I won it. And then I had to think about what I was going to do with it. And, and in my head, I still want to use my rub pack cricket bat. So this is my rub pack. And I asked for mid to mid high. You can see that I tenderly hit in this area here. Sometimes down there, sometimes here, sometimes the ball goes there. But generally I'm trying to hit out of the screws there. And um, let's tap it up. that's still playing in and I'm getting really good action out of that profile. That I also like the bow on it. It's a bit like a banana. I like the way the handle feels. The handle on this is a real true oval to round at the top and it's thicker. Whereas the um, GMs don't really have that sort of oval feel. Uh, this is round, probably slimmer at the top uh, and that sort of semi-oval roundish sort of feel that GM handles have and it just doesn't work for me. So that's my um, diamond which will be with me for the next, I don't know, 15 hours. Um, my mate is going to own that. Thanks very much for watching everybody and uh, if you like what I do please consider subscribing and liking the channel. Hopefully we can get to that 10,000 subscribers. We're on about a third subscribed and there's still well over 60% who don't subscribe to the channel. Please comment on the video or any aspects of it, uh, things you like to hear, things you don't like, things you want to see me improve, and I'll read all my comments and I'll respond to them as I can. See you on the next video. GM.